Hello and welcome to this month's edition of the Ichimoku Trade Newsletter. Uh, my name is David Turk and uh, this month I will be talking about um, different trading strategies and, and how I go about using them. Uh, I'm going to be going over two of them. One will be uh, what I would call low price stock or small cap stock strategies, sort of like a dead cat bounce strategy. Uh, and the other one is uh, has to do with the value um, strategies that we trade over here. Um, both will be using the Ichimoku charting system and the IMTF indicator. Let's go through our disclaimer. Um, everything that we're going to talk about today is for educational purposes. We are not telling you to go out and buy or sell anything. Um, if you do want to go and buy or sell uh, stocks, options, currencies, futures, you should probably um, talk to a professional investment advisor and have them guide you. <clears throat> I'll be using trade station charts. Um, just to get into a little bit, um, I am a co-founder of IchimukuTrade.com. Um, I started trading in September of 1997. Uh, so this September will mark 20 years of me trading for a living. Um, I am not used to presenting. Uh, I've really never done this. I'm just starting to. So uh, if anybody has topics that they'd like me to discuss or you have questions or you see something you like or you want to hear about, please email us uh, at info at ichimukutrade.com and just let us know and we'll take everything into consideration and try to put it out in the next month. Okay, now when it comes to us building strategies, a lot of it has to do uh, with all the scanners that we build. Um, now we have our own scanner on the website, uh, which we use, uh, but we also have a lot of others um, that we don't put out there, uh, but maybe coming out there. So first strategy we're going to get into <clears throat> um, is the small cap strategy. Now, now over the last two months I've gone over a little bit about how to use this. Um, this stock right here which is MEI Pharmaceuticals. Uh, the first thing that I like to look for and we like to use these black crosses. Okay, This is part of the IMTF indicator, the black crosses. The black crosses, the purple dots, the green and red shaded areas. That is part of the IMTF indicator. Now as time goes on I'm sure we will be adding more and more functionality to the IMTF indicator, uh, but in order to get it out this year, this was what all we could do at this point. But the black crosses to me, that's something that I like to use, especially in the small cap strategy, because I'm looking for kind of like a bottoming out, um, a sort of like a dead area where the stock decides, okay, I'm just going to sit here for a little while now until something happens. Now, it's best after a sell-off. Because at that point, you know that whoever wants to be out of the stock is out, and whoever wants to hold on is going to hold on. So when you start getting these clusters here, you see this whole clustering here of crosses. That is what's telling me, okay, this thing is consolidating now, and we're going to sit here, and, and that's the level. Uh, it looks like the bottom was somewhere around a buck fifty. So you know if it breaks 150, you're probably going to exit. Now, where do you get in? Well, if we look here at volume, um, you know, 90,000, 50,000, 30,000, 30,000. Now we get to this little gap here, 280,000. So that's your trading above average daily volume day. Um, it is breaking out of the crosses, this cluster of crosses, and now by the time the next day comes, you'll see there's a cross right here, and it's kind of holding. So this day, you'd want to enter this stock. Now, let's see what the pricing is on this. Okay, you have 158 to 166. So let's just say, for purposes of this trade, we got in at 166. Now, once these crosses start to form, I mean, you stop really. Now, you could put it... Either you could, you could still, to be safe, you could go 150. Um, if you didn't want to take that much risk, I mean, you know, maybe 155. Um, but either way, if you if you took heed to the the break of average daily volume, you can enter there. You stayed above the crosses throughout. See how well you have all these crosses in here. You're getting another cluster, and then boom, you have the break up, and this thing went for days 
all the way up to 230 from 160. So that's at the best, that's a 70 cents over a dollar 60. It's a 43 percent gain. Maybe you held it for two weeks, uh, and it's it's really still a good trade. You even at the pullback here, you hit the cadence in on the daily, closed here. So I mean, this thing is still bullish and still in play. I kind of like it. Um, this obviously gapped on news. I kind of like the news. Um, so I mean, I. I'd probably be looking to get back into this somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Um, but at this point, I mean, the the initial break we were in, uh, if you would have gotten out here and repositioned long here, that was probably the thing to do. Um, but again, so what we're looking for is a clustering of crosses, kind of a consolidation, a deadening out of the stock. And then we are looking for an above average daily volume day. You're looking for the crosses to move up. I mean, it's 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 really simple when you think about it. Um, you just have to be searching for stocks that are trading above average daily volume, stick them up on the chart and see if they look like this. <clears throat> um, and that is it for this one. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go to is this stock right here. Uh, this is called Verite. Um, it is a real estate investment trust and it didn't necessarily show up on, on one of our value scanners, but one of the things that we do look for is I run an income portfolio and we look for stocks uh, that are paying a certain uh, dividend payout. Um, so this thing hit on this day, they came out with earnings, stock sank, and it, its dividend payout went over 7%. So we started looking at it. Um, obviously, this is bearish. And what I liked about this is a couple of days after this, um, it might even have been around, so we we bottomed here, that was the initial earnings day, come up, re-retest. Now I'm pretty sure that it was the, the day of the retest that they announced a $200 million share buyback and that caught my eye. So what we do, you know, I'm going to tag every stock I'm looking at. Uh, I'm going to throw it in a new service so that anytime there's anything that I'm looking at that has any sort of news, uh, I want to know about it. So now we also obviously watch a regular news feed, so I'll see stuff that's coming through, but I specifically get emailed, you know, for any stock that we're watching. So to me, that 200 million share buyback, the double bottom, yeah, to me that was a catalyst. Uh, then the next day after that, I think there was an insider buy at seven dollars and sixty cents. So yeah, right in here on this day, right here, it's trading above that seven sixty-five cross. It hits a high of seven eighty-five, a low of seven sixty. It closed at seven seventy-six. So even if you get in at seven seventy-five, say, you're getting in above the cross. Your stop is below seven forty-five. Um, now there's two different strategies we could have bought this on. You could buy the trade, um, you know, which probably would have been to about eight twenty which is crosses and it lines up with the daily Cajunson as well. So that, that would have to be at the very least a leg out. Um, now, so if you're trading it long term, you could have taken some off there too, but obviously if you're going to go long term with it, you have to hold it. Um, and you have to allow for this thing now to try because it looks like now, uh, there's a lot of things that I see in here that indicate that there's a very good possibility that this thing could break out of the cloud and momentum could go bullish, um, but time will tell. But if you are just trading it, we can drop down to a 30 minute. <clears throat> so on the 30 minute, I guess this is still loading. 30 minute, that double bottom here. Okay, so here, 30 minute breaks out of the cloud goes to about 762 then it kind of sits here and then right here on this bar right here you're breaking that 762 so it's kind of what do we say 775 it looked like on the daily if you had dropped down to a 30 minute you probably would have gotten in around 765 um, you know stop it's below 745 or if you wanted to use the 30 minute I mean it's kind of silly I when I get into trades 
I'm going to go to stop below like that level there because if I'm I don't like getting clipped um, if I'm going to get stopped out of any sort of position I want to make sure that it's it's not a clip that I'm that I'm definitely wrong so I'll you I will always use that type of level and you know you just have to size it up so that you can take the heat you know that's it the trade is what it is um, so on here you get in 765 you have another break up and crosses start to form so now you know you're good to go because now you're starting to get crosses move up and move up and again if you're a day trader day trader you got to kind of exit out of everything here and as you see it hits here stops consolidates for a couple of hours so now it's kind of like bull flagging here and you know one thing I always say it should hit resistance and then it should fail and if it hits resistance and it stays up there well then that's probably not a good resistance so as you can see this thing was strong um, it barely broke the 30 minute Tankinson here so that's another sign and then we obviously broke higher again and this thing still looks good so if you're a day trader you're out of it if you're a midterm trader you're out of at least half of it and if you're long term you should still be in it um, so in this strategy you know as far like we said as far as building the strategies go um, it was you know we were alerted to this because of the dividend payment so it matched something in any income portfolio and we had a catalyst that we liked which was the 200 million share buyback and uh, again the insider buy at 760 uh, I drop down to the 30 minute chart and I get in uh, I follow the crosses and you have exits for you know the intradayers the midtermers the long termers um, and again this it's not now it's not written I mean all our strategies are written it's not written that if there's a there's a buyback I go in um, but I, I like to have catalysts of some sort or some sort of reason of why I'm going to get in I like to have a plan on every trade I do um, and then obviously if I am wrong on something then I get out so that is pretty much what we have to talk about today um, again if anybody has questions anybody wants me to expand on things I'm talking about uh, again you know I, I've been doing this for 20 years so for beginners I'm not I'm not sure how much in detail I need to go with everybody um, so Again, if you have questions, comments, you want to know more, send an email to info at ichimukutrade.com. And that is it for today. Uh, so good luck out there, and we'll see you next month.